Welcome back to the second half. We're here at the South Carolina State Bulldogs to take on Central Arkansas Bears. All set here at the beginning of the third quarter. It is a rainy day. Great kick. And the freshman, Kenzo Tachi, receives the ball back at the five yard line. Tachi looks like he's ready to get the ball. Great return by the Bears down to about the 42 yard line. After a great return on this rainy day, Hildebrand under center, first down and 10 at the 42 yard line. The Bulldogs come out in the 34. Hildebrand and company all spread out. Takes the snap. Heavy pressure coming from Murphy. Heavy pressure coming from Gregory Graham off the corner. Hildebrand dropping back, looking for a receiver. Dennis Table also bringing the pressure. Great coverage by the Bulldogs. Heavy pressure coming from the Bulldogs. Dennis Table and Gray Graham bringing the pressure. Hildebrand looking to hit Verdant on the quick hitch route. Incomplete. Second down. Second down and 10 for the Bears. Ball spotted at the 42-yard line after an incomplete pass. Great pressure. I want to think that the rain might have had something to do with the ball being slippery. That pass was off target. Hildebrand takes the snap. Hildebrand looking for an open receiver. Hildebrand looking for a receiver. Heavy pressure coming. And he's got a receiver. He's got Walker open going down the field. And it's a reverse to Brandon Wilson. Heavy pressure coming. Mike Wilson with the reverse play. The Bears try a little trickery, and the Bulldogs just stuffed it. A huge loss. And the Bears tried to do a reverse play, and the strong safety, Randy Fox, came up and stuffed that play. 13-yard loss, third down and 23. The Bears come out all spread out. Hilda Green takes the snap. And the pocket broke down. That is Kelly Evers and Table bringing the pressure. Hildebrand having to get out of there. Heavy pressure coming from Tom Evers. Hildebrand's got to receive open. Hildebrand has got Philip Wilson, the tight end, on the out route. And this could be his way out of this dilemma. Oh, incomplete pass. Too much pressure. Fourth down and 23. Huge play by the Bulldogs. Incomplete pass by Hildebrandt. There's the kick. Joel Brown fields the ball at the nine yard line. Brown takes the ball. Brown breaks it into the offense and is taken down. Almost a return. And the rain is coming down harder. Huge momentum swing. The Bulldogs with the ball at the 42-yard line. Takes the snap. And it's a running play. Henry gets the ball off to Joel Brown. Joel Brown could be stopped in the backfield. Joel tries to turn it inside. Joel breaks away from Wallace. Joel turns it inside. Stacked up at the line. That's Holland on the tackle. Able to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Second down and 10 for the Bulldogs. And we've been talking about this all year. The speed of Joel Brown. Able to make something out of nothing. Looked like he was going to be tackled in the backfield. Henry in the pistol. Bulldogs all spread out. Takes the snap. And it's play action. Henry scrambling around. Looking for a receiver. Heavy pressure. Great coverage by the Bears. Henry scrambling around with all that speed. Henry is taken down. Set in the backfield by Holland. 
Another huge play by Holland. That's his second tackle in the series. Henry in the pistol again. Bulldogs all spread out. Henry takes the snap. Henry scrambling around. Looking for a receiver. Heavy pressure coming from the Bears. Henry looking to connect with Joel Brown. This could be a huge play. And he got him. James Henry completes the pass to Joel Brown on the screen route. Brown wide open. Huge play. Brown takes it to the house. Touchdown. And Henry with the screen pass to Joel Brown. 45 yards for a touchdown. And the Bulldogs are back in this game. All set for the extra point. Welcome back. We are at the beginning of the fourth quarter. The score here on this rainy day. The Bulldogs of South Carolina State 7. Central Arkansas Bears 13. Huge momentum shift. The Bulldogs yeah. all set the kick. And there's the kick. The ball is going to come out to the 20 yard line. That ball was kicked out the back of the end zone. First down and 10 for the Bears. Hildebrand in the pistol formation. And the Bulldogs come out in the 34. Hildebrand takes the snap. And it's a run play. Hand off to Peyton Carmichael, the fullback, going up the middle. Looks like Kelly's closing in. Hand off to the fullback, Peyton Carmichael. And Carmichael is taken down. Another huge play by the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs defense here in the second half. Tightening things up, making it difficult for the Bears. The Bears seeming to fall apart. A huge momentum swing here. Hildebrandt in the shotgun. All spread out. Takes the snap. Heavy pressure coming. Great coverage by the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs with everyone all locked up. Hildebrandt looking for a receiver. Heavy pressure coming off the corner. And Hildebrandt under heavy pressure from the cornerback blitz. That is Sam Sanders from the cornerback position bringing the pressure. Hildebrand looking to connect with the fullback, Peyton Carmichael, out the backfield. Completed. Great pass. Carmichael with the hand. Taken down by Murphy at the 35 yard line. Saving tackle by Lonnie Murphy. Carmichael forced out of bounds. 23 yard gain. First down and 10 ball spotted at the 40 yard line. And the Bears trying to show some life. We are here in the fourth quarter. Hildebrand takes the snap. Hildebrand hands the ball off to Jarvis Daniels. Daniels. And Daniels trying to get back to the original line of scrimmage taken down by Murphy and Tom Evans. Looks like a loss of the yard. Second down and 11. One of the, one of the problems the Bears are having against this Bulldog defense, they are not able to control the box. Not able to run the ball against the Bulldogs. And it is causing a lot of pressure. Hilton takes the snap. Heavy pressure coming from the Bulldogs. Looking for a receiver. Everyone seems to be locked down. Great coverage by the Bulldogs. All the receivers all locked up. Hildebrand forced out of the pocket. The pocket just collapsed <laughs> on Hildebrand. And he is down. Third down and 15 for the Bears. Hildebrand definitely not known for scrambling. Hildebrand is a pocket passer and he's, he's very good at sitting in the pocket and picking his wide receivers, but the Bulldogs have been pressing the wide receivers with the, with the bump and run coverage, preventing the Bears wide receivers from getting off the line and the offense has just been collapsing. The pocket collapsed again, forcing Hildebrand out. He slips and falls, trying to get away from the pressure. Hildebrand takes the snap. More pressure coming. And once again, Kelly, Kelly coming off the end, bringing the pressure. Hildebrand sitting in the pocket, looking for a receiver. Once again, great coverage by the Bulldogs. Absolutely no receivers open. 
Anderson is double covered on this end. Hildebrandt is being pressured by Kelly. Hildebrandt has no choice but to try and catch Burdett over on the corner and try and get a little real estate out of this. Can Hildebrandt complete the pass? Intercepted by Tyson. The Bulldogs pick it off. Turnover on downs. First down and 10. What a huge momentum shift. The Bulldogs with a chance to pull out the win. We're down under seven minutes to go in the fourth. Henry with the ball under center. <laughs> Henry takes the snap. The ball handoff to Joel Brown. <laughs> Brown. Joel Brown up the middle. <laughs> Taken down by Hall. Great play. Joel Brown just makes it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. Second down and 10 for the Bulldogs. That was Justin Hall, the big middle linebacker, coming in at 5.6 grams, making the big stop at the line. Henry takes the snap. Looks like it might be another run play. And it's a sweep. Going to Joel Brown. Joel Brown on the screen. Joel Brown breaks it into the open and is taken down, saving tackle. That was Roy Smith with the saving tackle. Joel Brown almost broke that one into the open. Third down and five. Heavy pressure. This the momentum swings. And this in here in the second half is pretty much gone to the Bulldog side. Henry under center. <laughs> Henry takes the snap. Henry scrambling around. <laughs> Looking for a receiver. Pressure coming from the Bears. And it's an option play. Henry pitches the ball to Joel Brown. Joel. Joel Brown running to the sideline. Big hit by Wellmaker at the 30-yard line. Spins him around. Fourth down and five. The ball spotted at the Bears 30-yard line. Can the Bears pull out a win here? The Bulldogs with the ball. Henry under center. Henry takes the snap. Heavy pressure coming from the Bears. Henry in the pocket, dropping back. Looking for a receiver. He's got Clyde Bostick open across the middle, as well as Joel out in the flat. This could be huge. Henry looking to hit Clyde Bostick on the seam route, going across the middle. And the Bears storm the field. Coach Jamison McLean and the Bears will be going to the Southern Division Championship to take on the Ohio State Buckeyes. The winner of that game will be going to the Big Dance to see who will play for the FedEx National Championship. Stand by for the post-game show. Welcome to the post-game show. Down here with Coach Jamison McLean after pulling out a very, very tight game close victory but the Bears was able to get the game there in the second half the Bulldogs defense came out and they just went after the Bears we asked the coach what it was and uh, what it was that happened there in the second half and it looked like a completely different team and the coach said the Bears second the Bulldogs secondary was flying all over the field they had you know several bodies to the ball all the time the wide receivers were having a hard time getting off the line, and he said they just made it very difficult for them to get anything. He said he looked over to the defensive coordinator and he told him, you're gonna have to pull this game out for us, and he's proud that his kids was able to do it there in the end. The defense was able to come through, and the Bears hold on and live to fight another day next week to take on the Ohio State Buckeyes for the Southern Division Championship. But we got Coach Bernie Jones here. Defense came through for the Bulldogs there late in the game. Coach, um, unfortunately, you guys was not able to pull out the win. Tell us what's in store for the Bulldogs here, and what were your thoughts there late in the game? 
but going into the second half, uh, after we had such a bad first half on defense and got a little production on offense, really, but second, the second half, we uh, we went in at halftime and said, look, we got to stop this passing game. This quarterback is sitting back here and he is picking us apart. Looking at, just briefly looking at some of the film as we went back in the, in the, uh, the, the first ha at halftime, and we can see that most of his passes that were completed and they got a, a good yard gain or scored because they actually they scored twice uh, with uh, passing the ball inside across the middle. So we knew we had to stop, take that part away from them. So we made the necessary adjustment and our defense really came through uh, in the second half. We completely shut them down. Uh, we weren't much wor much worried about their running game because they're not uh, too good of a running game uh, type team. But we knew that if they if we could take take away that passing game, especially inside, and maybe try to force them to run the ball. You know, let's look at it. They had a 13 point lead, so we felt like they would try to get comfortable and just try to control the game. So things really turned out defensively for us turn out pretty good. We, we really shut them down. Offensively, we struggled. Uh, we, we got we got a, uh, a couple of, we got one good play and there was a couple of times during the course of the game where we were one tackle away from uh, or one good block away from breaking, uh, breaking it twice, at least twice in the game. So, but I got to take my hats off to the Bears. They, they, they played a good game. They hung in there. And I wish them the best uh, against Ohio State. Uh, thank you guys for the support, the Fat Eight Conference. And we hope next year uh, that you guys pick, come along and, and, and keep us, keep supporting us. And we hope to see you again next year. Peace. Well, that is the end of our post-game show. Look forward to the two championship games, the Northern Division Championship game where the Aggies will be taking on Florida A&M and the Southern Division Championship game where the Bears will be taking on the Ohio State Buckeyes. The winner of those two games will be playing for the Fat 8 National Championship.